We're here today at the Bus Stop Dive Resort in Bawan, Batangas. And today, we're going to go for scuba diving. Scuba diving has been on my to-do list for quite some time now. I just never found the time and the opportunity to do so until now. Being a seafarer and working on board ships, I frequently have interactions with divers, mainly because the in-water survey of the ship's hull and propeller is a periodical maintenance item. Occasionally, marine growth will accumulate on the hull and might even clog the sea chest suction line or maybe the propeller needs to be polished. There's no other quick way to clear all of those other than to hire scuba divers who specialize in this kind of work. In the following photos is a junior of mine, also a seafarer, who started scuba diving as a hobby. But after years of developing his skills and acquiring his license, he now earns extra income as a diver for a local salvage company while on vacation from shipboard duties. Suffice to say, scuba diving is a skill which is very advantageous for seafarers to learn as it could eventually offer an alternative source of income. But what does it really take to learn scuba diving? I was always under the impression that it was very expensive, that it was very difficult, and most of all, the idea of being deep underwater, breathing through nothing more than a hose connected to an air tank, seems like a very terrifying prospect. Well, today, I'm determined to find out. Located only three hours away from Manila is the municipality of Bawan in the province of Batangas. Nestled in one of its coves is the Bus Stop Dive Resort, which is conveniently located only a few meters in front of one of the country's world-class dive sites. I was invited through my friend and fellow YouTuber, Daryl, to try out the intro to scuba diving, just to get a feel of what it's really like to swim with the fishes, and also to get some first-hand info about scuba diving. When you go scuba diving, we can stay longer at depth and we can really go around underwater, see the different creatures, see the different types of corals. So actually, there are no age limit when you want to go scuba diving or if you have any disabilities, it does not cause any problems. If you're a non-swimmer, you're afraid of the sea, you can still do scuba diving because you will always have your dive master with you and scuba diving uh, what we are trying to achieve there is to be more relaxed underwater so you don't really need to be a strong swimmer or you don't really need to have an experience to go scuba diving i have always been fascinated with marine life so i was really excited to jump into the water but before we went on to the actual scuba diving i was curious to take a peek at what's in store for us when we go underwater. And there's no better way to find out than to do a bit of snorkeling.
I've done a bit of snorkeling in many places in the Philippines, but it's my first time to see an abundance of corals and fishes in a relatively shallow reef. Balan Cove is really a marine sanctuary or a marine protected area. So we're trying to save our coral reef. Uh, fishing is not allowed, which is the reason the marine life is very abundant here. Occasionally during our dive, we can encounter the school of jacks, which makes their home here. And then sometimes if we're lucky, we can even see the sea turtles lurking around. Having caught a glimpse of the majesty of this underwater world, I wanted to dive deeper and see more. So first, intro diving, that's where we teach you all the basics of scuba diving. After all the basic trainings, uh, we go ahead with scuba diving. Uh, it's just right in front of our beach, so that way we don't really need to take a boat because all the corals and all the beautiful fishes is just a few feet in front of our beach. In case any of you guys are interested to try out scuba diving, the Bus Stop Dive Resort is the ideal place for you to start. I included a link to their Facebook page on the description below. So after confirming that our gear was intact, and after practicing the rudimentary techniques, it's time for us to dive. I have to admit, as we went deeper, I initially felt very intimidated and a bit disconcerted. Back in basic survival training, the priority was to get yourself to float to the surface, not go deeper underwater. So at first, I had to fight every instinct I had to reach for the open air. But as time passed by, I got used to the feeling of being weightless underwater and breathe easily through the regulator. And as my confidence grew, we went further into the depths. Okay, it was just around 18 feet or so, but that's the deepest I've been in my entire life. So, achievement unlocked, right? wonderful experience and I definitely want to go scuba diving again real soon. Having seen what I have seen only reinforced what I have always believed in, that we as humans, and more so we seafarers, have an inherent responsibility to protect our oceans from pollution. The beauty that I saw on my dive could easily be wiped out in a matter of days by a simple oil spill from one ship. So the burden lies upon us to do our jobs properly in order to prevent such a thing from happening. So that future generations might still be able to enjoy what we enjoy now. <laughs>